Hello, and welcome to Best Web Soft. In this video, we are going to learn how to turn your website pages to PDF and print them using the PDF and Print plugin by Best Web Soft. Let's start by installing the plugin. To do so, we need to go to Plugins and click Add New. Now, we need to search for a plugin. Type PDF and Print by Best Web Soft. Click Install and Activate. Moving on. The next thing to do is to customize the settings. Click on the Settings tab, you will see the PDF and Print Pro Settings page. Remember to save your changes after every action. Use the options of the Settings page to make the global settings for the plugin. Use the Add button to option to enable the display of PDF and print buttons on search results, archives, posts pages, and other post types. For example, PDF and print buttons will look on the post as follows. Use the buttons position option to choose the buttons position in the content. Top left position of buttons will look on a page as follows. Top right position of buttons will look on a page as follows. Bottom left position of buttons will look on a page as follows. Bottom right position of buttons will look on a page as follows. Top and bottom left position of buttons will look on a page as follows. Top and bottom right position of buttons will look on a page as follows. Use the button image option to choose the images you prefer for the PDF and print buttons. Choose none to hide the button images completely. Choose the default to display the button images set by default. Choose the custom to upload the custom images of the buttons. Note, we recommend using 100x100 pixel resolution images to achieve the best result. After saving changes the custom icons placed on a post or page may look as follows. Use the button title option to specify a custom title displayed for each button. After saving changes, the custom titles placed on a post or page may look as follows. In case the button images option is set to none, titles with no images will be displayed instead of icons. Enable the print preview window option to display a print preview window with the advanced settings. Click the print button to display a default print preview window. Enable the search engine visibility option to disallow search engines from indexing PDF and print pages. Use the default PDF button action option to choose the default action that will be applied when a user clicks the PDF button. Choose the download PDF if you want to download a PDF file on a local drive. Choose the open PDF if you want to open a PDF file preview in a separate browser tab. Use the Enable Buttons option for setting the PDF and Print Buttons visibility for particular user roles. Let's move on to the Output tab. Use the options of the Output tab to make the settings regarding the output of the document. Enable the Full Page Capture to PDF option to render the PDF files using the same fonts and styles as displayed on the page. After saving changes, the PDF file will be displayed with the original page styles and layout. Use the default PDF file name option to define the title for the generated PDF file. Choose the post page slug to apply the title of the original poster page automatically. Choose the custom to enable entering a custom PDF file name. Use the layout option to choose the default layout, portrait or landscape for generated PDF and print files. The portrait layout will turn the PDF document vertically. The landscape layout will turn the PDF document horizontally. Use the default PDF page size option to set the default size for the PDF document. Click the apply to all button to overwrite the existing size values for all post types. For example, choosing the A8 format will display the PDF page as follows. Use the Margins option to set the margins in the generated PDF document. The top, bottom, left and right margins help to align the content position in the generated PDF file. Enable the Print Shortcodes option to print shortcodes data generated by other plugins. When this option is enabled, 
the data added by means of another plugin's shortcode will be displayed at PDF file as follows. Data added by means of another plugin's shortcode will be displayed at print file as follows. Enable the Remove Links option to remove links from PDF and print documents. Enable the Link Annotations option to remove hover link styles in PDF documents. Note, this option is available if the Remove Links option is disabled. Enable the Additional Elements option to add custom elements along with the generated content inside the PDF document. You can add or remove the title, author and date for posts, and featured image. The PDF document with enabled additional elements will look the following way. The PDF document with disabled additional elements will look the following way. Use the Featured Image Size option to set the size of the featured image in PDF and print documents. For example, a large image size will look in a PDF file as follows. Use the WooCommerce product details to enable the required product data to include it into the PDF document printed on the WooCommerce product page. Note, download, activate and install WooCommerce to use the available option. After saving changes, the chosen parameters will be displayed on the PDF file. Use the watermark protection option to protect your PDF document with any watermark. Choose none if you don't want to use watermark protection at all. Choose text to enter the text, which will cover the content of the PDF page across. After saving changes, the PDF page with text watermark may look as follows. Choose image to upload the preferred image, which will cover the content of the PDF page. After saving changes, the PDF document with image watermark may look as follows. Use the watermark opacity option to change the opacity of the applied image. After saving changes, watermark with opacity set to 1 in the PDF document may look as follows. Enable the Prevent Copying option to prevent unauthorized copying of your PDF documents. Enable the Advanced Custom Fields options to include available custom fields and their names into the PDF document. Note, download, activate, and install Advanced Custom Fields plugin to use its options. After saving changes, the necessary custom fields will be displayed in the PDF document. Use the Additional Fonts option to add any new fonts. Activate the option by clicking the Load Fonts button in order to get the ability to change the font of the text on the PDF document. After the fonts are loaded and configured, the PDF page's font may look as follows. Enable the default CSS option to apply CSS from the current theme. After saving changes, the PDF document may look as follows. Use the Custom CSS option to add custom CSS code to documents. Use the Display tab to choose separate post types or single pages where PDF and print buttons will be displayed. Enable required pages and post types you suppose to have the PDF and print buttons. Enable the Show URL option in the Display Settings tab to show the URL of each post and page in the list below. Enable the necessary post types or single pages that will be added to the search in the list. Use the Miscellaneous tab to make the settings regarding track usage, default settings, and upgrade the MPDF library. Use the Upgrade the MPDF library option to upgrade the MPDF library to a new version. This action is recommended for the plugin to function properly. After the successful upgrade, you will see the notification at the top of the page. Enable the Track Usage option to allow tracking plugin usage anonymously in order to make it better. Click the Restore Settings button to reset all the settings made previously and revert them to the default ones. Click the Yes, Restore All Settings button to confirm the procedure. Use the Custom Fields tab to add custom fields and custom data before and after PDF and print documents content. Open the Posts or Pages section to view the available fields and options. Enable the appropriate checkbox to show data before content before the page title. Add the necessary content in data before content and data after content, then save changes. After saving changes, the custom fields will be displayed in the PDF document. If the show data before page title option is disabled, the result will look as follows. 
Use the Custom Fields Displaying option to choose the default action of Custom Fields Displaying. Choose Default to show Custom Fields by default. You can hide them using Do Not Show PDF and Print Custom Fields option. Choose Force Hide to hide custom fields, even if the Show PDF and Print Custom Fields option is enabled. Choose Force Show to make custom fields visible, even if the Show PDF and Print Custom Fields option is disabled. Use the Disable the Show PDF and Print Custom Fields option to disable custom fields for all posts. To do it click the Disable Now button. You can use the PDF and Print options on each post and page to make settings for each post and page individually. To do this, open a post or a page in edit mode, scroll down, and you'll see the PDF and Print options. Use the Layout option to set a portrait or landscape layout, or use plugin settings for the PDF document and its print version. Use the PDF Page Size option to set the page size for the individual post or page. You can change the default page size using the option on the Document Output Settings page. Enable the Show PDF and Print Custom Fields option to allow showing the PDF and Print Custom Fields. Enable the Unique Custom Fields option to create unique custom fields for individual pages and posts. If the option is disabled, PDF and Print Custom Fields settings will be applied unless the Show PDF and Print Custom Fields option is enabled. Enable the PDF and Print Advanced Custom Fields option to display the advanced custom fields. Note, download, activate and install Advanced Custom Fields plugin to use its options. Let's go back to the Settings page. Use the Custom Code tab for inserting a CSS, PHP or JavaScript code. To activate the inserted code, enable the Activate Custom CSS, PHP or JavaScript code option and save changes. Use the License Key tab to activate or check the Pro plugin license. After a successful plugin purchase, you will receive an email notification with a download link and the license key. Activate Pro License by adding a license key into the field PDF and Print Pro License and clicking the Save Changes button. To check the license key, click the Check License Key button. If the entered key is correct, the notification with the license expiration date will be displayed in the upper left corner of the page. Use the Manage License Settings option to change your license settings. Click the Login to Client Area button to open your personal client area dashboard located on the Best Web Soft website. Browse and download purchased products, change the license domain and copy the license keys. It is possible to add PDF and Print Buttons widget on a page. To do this, open the Appearance Widgets page. Click the Add PDF and Print Buttons widget. Enter the preferred title, enable PDF and print buttons, choose the desired location and click the Save Widget button. After saving changes, the widget with PDF and print buttons will look on a page as follows. Use the Headers and Footers page to create custom headers and footers displayed by necessity in the PDF and print documents. To add header and footer, open the PDF and print headers and footers page and click the Add New button. Enter the title and content for the header and footer. Use the available shortcodes to add dynamic data in the header and footer. Don't forget to save changes. Return to the headers and footers page to enable the PDF and print options to include a particular header or footer into the PDF and print documents. After saving changes, the created header and footer may look on a page as follows. Use the shortcodes to add PDF and print buttons to your posts or pages and create a page break in PDF document. Available shortcodes are displayed on the PDF and print settings page. To display PDF, print, or both buttons, copy the necessary shortcode, create a new post or page, or open the existing in the edit mode and insert copied earlier shortcode to the necessary place. Click update or publish and then preview buttons in order to see the post. The PDF and print buttons will look on a page as follows. To create a page break in a PDF document, copy the appropriate shortcode from the PDF and print settings page. Create a new poster page or open the existing in the edit mode and insert copied earlier shortcode to the place where you want to split the pages. As a result, PDF documents with created page break may look as follows. These were all the settings for the PDF and print plugin. 
Download the PDF and print plugin by following the link in the description. We hope this video will help you with your goals with the assistance of our plugin. Thanks for watching and goodbye.